Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Black Cauldron. Okay, the cauldron has been stolen by the Gwythanes, um, and probably taken back to the Horned King's Castle, which we just left. Uh, I guess we got to uh, use our flying dust now. Sprinkling the fairy dust over your head makes you feel as light as a feather. Looking down, you see you're floating in midair. About a foot off the ground. Whee! Whee! There's no need for you to fly in that direction. What? Begin walking again. Aw, game. Uh-oh. Uh, I need water. Quick, find water. Not swamp water, either. Uh, if you try to fill up your flask at, uh, someplace that's, uh, um, where the water is flowing too flat fast, uh, you'll lose your flask. But you can find it later. You fill your water flask with water. Thank you, game. Thank you for having conveniently placed water. Alright, well, um... I do still have a dagger. Maybe I can use that against the henchman. Maybe I can just avoid the henchman. That would be uh, preferable. Alright, back through the maze. I don't know that I'm going to get quite all the points in this uh, playthrough, but uh, we'll see. I think you're kind of supposed to get the... Uh, um, get Henwin captured. But you don't have to, so, uh, I didn't. Ha ha ha. Oops. Didn't want to, didn't want to restore one save. There we go. Okay. Back up we go. Okay, more rock climbing. I remember that episode of MST3K. Such a good episode. Ah, uh, deep hurting. Always good. Always good. Alright, let's, uh... Time to walk past through this path again. Yay! Yay! Maybe I'll try climbing up the uh, wall again. Uh, I think the stone. Were, whoa! That's that was close. That was a little bit too close. All right, let's go ahead and save it again. No, get away, get away, get away! Ha <laughs> ha! Suckers! Uh, let's actually save it under temp 3. Just to be on the safe side. Oops. Seriously? Seriously, well, okay, that was that was a dick move game. That was a dick move. Ah, uh, starting off right there on the. Uh, I thought I drank some water. I guess I just got the water rather than actually drinking it. There we go. Oh! I thought that was a window. Ouch! You ram your head into the overhanging parapet. Um, okay. Can I get in the window? Since you've removed the vines covering the window, you could climb in to the window. So, how do I climb into the window? Oh! Well... That, uh, that didn't quite work out the way that I wanted. Let's go ahead and restore that. I 
I wanted to get water. There we go. Okay. Got eaten again. Alright, maybe we should uh, try the easy way in again. Okay, that's not the easy way in. Ah, that's, that's, that's the better way. Okay, first of all, I gotta drink water. There we go. Oh, that's right. The uh, drawbridge is still down. That 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 would make sense. That that would make sense. Um, what about the dagger? Not sure if the dagger will do me any good. Nope. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. Ah! Ha! You can't get me on the stairs. I should probably not save it while on the stairs. And then I fall to my death. The fall was just too far to survive. Well, shucks. Alright. Leave me alone. I'm busy walking here. There we go. I can't remember if there's anything up here that I want to do. Oh, I can hide behind the uh, tapestry if the... Uh Henchman comes. Well, there's the Horned King. This is the throne room of the evil Horned King. Oh, sire, whines Creeper. Isn't it about time to try out our new your new cauldron? Is he going to say anything? And then I get captured. Okay. Let's try that again. How about let's go this way? I'm sure this will be fine. Nope. Okay, let's not try that way. Maybe we should head down into the basement again. There we go. Make a quick save. You use the ladder to descend to the floor below. I don't think the uh, henchman will show up down here. Oh, well, we didn't go through this doorway, did we? Oh! Um. Oh no, Terran, the Horned King puts you in the Black Cauldron, and evil rules pride and forever. Whoops. Well, shucks. Sorry, Terran, you have failed in your quest. The Horned King now has the Black Cauldron, and evil rules pride and... Well, I guess we don't want to go in that that door. Huh. That, that, that's probably a bad idea, then. Huh. Yes. Alright, uh, so, how do we get into, uh... Oh, I think that, uh, I have to do that from upstairs, don't I? Yep, I think I do. Let's try that again. You examine the grate. It is merely resting against the wall.
Oh no, the Horned King is lowering the skeleton into the Black Cauldron! A skeleton rises from the pile of bones and begins to march away. That, that's not what the Cauldron Born were supposed to be like. That, that, that's not how they're supposed to be. Another skeleton has written, risen from the pile of bones. That, that, that's, not, that's not what the Cauldron Born are. Oh, I'm sure this will be fine. What's the worst that happens? So they're just undead. You have allowed too many skeletons to escape the Horned King's castle. Sorry, Terran, you have failed in your quest. Well, shucks. Alright, let's try that again. I'm still down here. I should have saved upstairs. Oh, darn. I keep losing. That's not good. You examined the grate. Yes. No, no, I will do this. Suddenly, Gurgi appears behind you. Terran, stop! exclaims Gurgi. Don't jump in, awful Cauldron. Great Master has many friends. Gurgi has no friends. Gurgi will give his life for his friend Terran. What? Wait. No, Gurgi, no! Before you can stop him, Gurgi runs past you and leaps into the seething cauldron. Whee! Your friend Gurgi has sacrificed his life for you. Tears come to your eyes as you remember your friend. How did he get into the castle? At just the right time, too! The cauldron begins to tremble violently and emits a frightful roar, shaking the castle to its very foundations. The Horned King is destroyed. No, that's not how it happened in the book. Actually, I think the uh, destruction of the uh, cauldron in the, uh, um, the second book of the Pride and Chronicles is much, a much better way of having it done, I think. The castle walls tremble and, tremble and shake. Stones fall and pillars collapse around you. The force of the exploding cauldron throws you out of the Horned King's secret chamber and into the moat. You grab a piece of floating wood and hang on for dear life. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hold on tight, Terran. Surely that would kill me. Um. Suddenly the water is blue again. Whee! Well, at least I'm, uh, I'm alive. Although normally these waters would kill me. Oh, hey! The cauldron! Well, young Terran, things are not working out as you expected, are they? Cackle the witches. Being a great hero is not all it's cracked up to be. Since you won't be using it, we've decided we want our cauldron back. It was supposed to be destroyed. Of course, we'll not steal it. We'll trade for it. Terran, we offer you this wondrous book containing all the knowledge in the universe. Trade the cauldron for this and you'll be the wisest man in all pride in. Incidentally, that's the book of three. Uh, let's go ahead and save it as temp two. Um, can I... I, I want to... It's your choice, Assistant Pig Keeper. We won't wait all day, though. Hey, nope, nope. Let's restore... Okay, F6. You take the Book of Knowledge and become the wisest man in all Pryden. For the rest of your life, you wonder if you made the right choice. If I'm the wisest man, shouldn't I not wonder? I mean, I, I should know. Incidentally, uh, yeah, the, this, the Book of Three, it's the, what's, what the first book of the Pride and Chronicles is called, and that's a, the, uh, a, a book that Dalbin actually has. You always miss your friend, Gurgi, and wonder if you could have done better in your quest. I barely knew him! We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Pryden and your success with the Black Cauldron. You probably think you could have earned a higher score. Of course, there's an easy way to find out. Play the game again. Don't forget, if you make different decisions, the game will be different. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, fine, let's restore. Alright, no, no, not gonna take the book. Not gonna take the book. If you don't want that, how about this? The pot of gold from the end of the rainbow. If you take this treasure, you will be the richest person in all Pryden. 
Sweet money! You take the pot of gold and become the richest man in all pride in. Not quite as rich as Jared from Gold Rush, though. You live out the rest of your life in luxury, but discover that money is not the ultimate answer to happiness. Lies! Lies! I call lies. I, well, okay. I would certainly be happy with a lot more money. You always miss your friend Gurgi and wonder if you could have done better in your quest. Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Nope, not taking the book. Not taking the book. Nope, nope, not taking the money. Don't want the money. What's behind door number three? You drive a hard bargain, pig boy. Here is our final offer. Give us the cauldron and we'll give you back your friend, Gurgi. Sweet! You lift the lifeless body of your friend into your arms. Maybe he tastes good. We, we get a fire going. That was wrong, wasn't it? You hold Gurgi in your arms and long for the simpler days of, as an assistant pig keeper. You miss Gurgi, and as the tears well up in your eyes... Wait, what's this? Gurgi, you're alive, you exclaim. Gurgi says, Hello, Master. Surely you have some munchies and crunchies for an old friend? I, I think I do. Let's, uh... Where's my food wallet? Oh. Since the game is over, you can't do that. Oh. Well, thanks, game. I didn't quite get all the points. Yes, let's walk off into the sunset. With people that we barely met. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to Pryden. I would have enjoyed my visit to Pryden more if it were, uh... As the book was. As the books were. Congratulations! You've played a tremendous game! Uh... Sure, we'll go with that. Wow! Th th you're, you guys are really tiny there in the distance. The end! Yeah, so that's about all, that's almost all the points. I'm not sure what I missed. Um, probably something to do with the rescue of Henlin. But I didn't have to do that. Anyway, um, that was the, uh, the Black Cauldron. Uh, one of the simpler, uh, Sierra adventure games. Uh, easier and quicker. But then again, when you know the solutions to these games, they tend to be very, very quick. Um... I think that's one of the things that I like about the Quest for Glory games, is that even when you know the solutions, they're not very quick. Um, you still get uh, many hours of uh, enjoyment out of them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Black Cauldron. Uh, stay tuned for something else. Um, I don't know what yet. Uh, it might be... Well, it probably won't be Martian Dreams yet. I think I'll play something else. Uh, it might actually be Quest for Glory 2. We'll see. Until next time, I, uh, I am Old Dragon, and I hope you enjoy The Black Cauldron. And really, go read the books. Even if you're, even if you're way beyond the uh, target a audience, read the books. If you have kids, read them to your kids. See you next time.